Second rainfall is orographic rainfall. Here, oro means what? Mountain. So, rainfall because of the mountain is called as a orographic rainfall. Now, why there is a rainfall because of mountain? Now, you can see over here, on one side of the mountain, you have a sea. Okay? You have this ocean or sea. Now, when ocean is getting heated, huge amount of moisture is there on the ocean. So, what happens when onshore wind comes? So, winds will travel from ocean towards the mountain. Okay? So, these winds will be laden with the moisture. So, once they hit the mountain, they cannot travel further. They cannot cross the mountain. So, what happens? They start climbing the mountain. Because of the energy, they start climbing the mountains, wall of the mountains. Getting it? As they are moving upward, what happens? The process in the physics called adiabatic cooling that happens. Because of this adiabatic cooling, condensation happens and they give rainfall on this side of the mountain. So, these rising and cooling clouds, they are condensing and giving rainfall over here. Okay. So, this process is happening because of adiabatic cooling and this rainfall is called as a orographic rainfall and the side on which this rainfall is happening is called as a windward side. Okay. So, windward side. Okay. So, now what happens? These clouds, once they give the rainfall, the moisture content in the clouds is going to get reduced. These clouds are going to get lighter and lighter. They are going to rise further and cross the mountain and they are going to come to the another side. Another side conditions are dry conditions. Okay? So, in this dry conditions, when these clouds are coming down on the slope of the mountain, the process called as the adiabatic heating happens. On this side, adiabatic cooling happened. Opposite side, adiabatic heating happens. So, because of that adiabatic heating, these clouds expand and their moisture absorbing ability increases. Because of that, they don't give the, uh, the amount of rainfall they give on the windward side, the same amount of rainfall they will not give on the opposite side. Okay? So, this side is called as a leeward side. Okay. So, this leeward side rainfall will be lesser compared to windward side. Okay. Now, this rainfall which is going to be lesser, the reason is because of adiabatic heating of the clouds and this region will be called as a rain shadow region. Okay. So, rain shadow region means you have lesser rainfall over here. So, the ideal example of this is Mumbai and Pune. So, Mumbai comes on the windward side and Pune comes on the leeward side. Similarly, Mangaluru and Bangaluru. Mangaluru comes on the windward side, Bangaluru comes on the leeward side. Okay. So, these are the example of orographic rainfall and windward side and leeward side. Okay.